Next up onto the slopes, we have a new competitor using the Apple Vision Pro to attempt this expert course. Oh, no. I can't ski. And that's a problem, because tomorrow I leave for my first ever ski holiday with my girlfriend, Simone. For context, me and Simone have been together ages. For years, we've talked about going on a ski holiday together, and now it's finally here. To make the most of our trip, we agreed to have lessons before we went out, and Simone was getting on well. But me, I didn't make a single lesson because I was too busy with work. I think I'll be all right. I don't like you carry that hard. It's really hard. I'm not going to be able to ski together. You wait till the very last minute and you've still not done it. I do feel bad and I do feel like I've let her down, but this is where my good old friend technology comes in. The Apple Vision Pro. So my thinking is this, if I can use the world's most technically advanced goggles to learn how to ski in one day, then we can enjoy the rest of the trip together and I wouldn't have ruined it for anyone. Oh god, I can't slow down. I think it's genius. I decided it was a good idea to get used to these before putting on skis. Can you hurry up? We're going to miss our flight. So I flew a plane on the plane and tried to get some breakfast. One second. Anyway, I landed and it was time for my first task of the day. Get into the country. Can you oh, sorry. I'm, I mean, uh, hire a car from a Frenchman. So I thought I'd try out my live translate app. Bonjour. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Oh, this was not going to plan. And in my panic, I just repeated what was on the screen. Trevor, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Thankfully, Simone wasn't there to witness that one. Anyway. I reckon I could probably drive. There's an F1 car in the car. We finally reached the town and this place was absolutely beautiful. Ha! Stunning buildings, fresh water fountains, ancient stone bridges. Capture. And even horses. How to say nice horse in French. To say nice horse in French, you would say beau cheval or yoli cheval. Beau cheval. Beau cheval. I don't understand. Do you speak French? <laughs> oh, that's a bad sign. This thing sucks. But before I could get on the mountain, I needed to acquire three items. First mission is food from the casino. I can't really see anything. I'll just have a banana. I can't tell if they're ripe or not. Hello, is this banana ripe? Hello, cette banane est mûre? Hello, cette banane est mûre? Oui. Yes, I was starting to get the hang of it. And this gave me the confidence the bar ski passes completely in French. Bonjour, madame. Tres. <laughs> ski Trois. pass. Toi. Un, deux, toi. Oui. Un, deux, toi. It's a ten and three. Oh, gracias, amigo. After eating my potassium rich breakfast and practicing some more French. Bonjour. It was time to get my skis. Bonjour. Allez-vous skier aujourd'hui? No idea. After that, I found something which shook my core. My persona. Oh, hi. This is basically the better version of me. I like to call him Zach Romance. Mm -mm -mm. Zach Romance can probably ski and speak fluent French. And I want to be just like him. So what Simone doesn't know is that I've already booked a table in the fanciest restaurant in town this evening. And I'm going to do the most romantic thing any human can do. Order our dinner completely in French. Anyway, after leaving Simone to ski by herself for a bit, bye. Bye. I was on a mission to learn as fast as I could, and the first step was mastering the lift to the baby slope. And with my YouTube tutorial in hand to tell me exactly how to use the lift, I was feeling confident. Oh my god, it's coming fast. Ah, okay. Oh no. Ah through the TV. I needed to get the YouTube tutorial back quickly as I'd never dismounted a chairlift before. But this is where I realized a fundamental flaw with my plan to use these goggles while skiing. It says content moving too fast. No, the menu just came at me. Ah! I can't get a menu. <laughs> no! I managed to get a workaround by putting myself in another world. No, but you stab it in. Oh, there we go. Yes! Hold on the chair. No! I'm going in and out of different realities. And just in the nick of time. Remember to keep your ski tips up. I've got it. And do exactly what we practiced. Ski tips up. Like you're getting up from the dinner table. Like we're getting up from the dinner table. Here we go. The eagle has come to land and getting up off the dinner table. Ah! Get up! Oh dear. But at least I actually tried to get off. 
I lost my ski. Oh man, it stopped. Not to be put off, I headed to the baby slope to get my first steps in. And how did I intend to use these futuristic $4,000 goggles to teach me how to ski? Haha! <laughs> oh, my search history is Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> How to ski in one day, that sounds good, it's 10 minutes. I'm going to teach Osman, an absolute yeah. beginner. This is insane. Ow! Okay, I can definitely do that. Ah, no! <laughs> I'm in my TV. It was a rocky start, but I was finally ready to learn the snowplow. That's snowplow. This feels like it. I'm skiing while watching a ski tutorial. <laughs> ah, my TV! And with that mastered, next up was how to turn. So we'll learn to... Oh god, now I've lost my TV. Ah, William! Ah, ah, ah. With that mastered too, my confidence was growing. So I've got to keep my weight forward, not back. That's it? Yeah! Let's go! Is that a little style thing at the end? Yeah, that was just, you know, in the Olympics where they go at the end of the gymnastics. Anyway, I downloaded an app to tell me my speed. Now we're talking. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I've only just realised. Current speed, zero. Oh no. I was clearly going too fast for the speedometer. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Bleeding fast, and now I felt ready for the big lift to the top of the mountain. Now, the people in the ski shop told me to never ski alone, so I thought this lift was the perfect opportunity to make some friends. Bonjour. Bonjour. Things started off well. This man said bonjour to me, but then decided to wait for the next lift. Oh no. Luckily, some other people decided to join us, and the quest to make some friends and practice my French was on. Yeah. Belle neige aujourd'hui, hein? Belle neige aujourd'hui, hein? Non? Hey. Non, non. Non, non? Non. Yes. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was locked in. La neige craint. La neige craint. <laughs> yes, it's right. <laughs> Cannot describe how good it feels to have friends. My confidence for dinner later was growing, but I couldn't get distracted. I had a choice to make. We've either got a black, yeah. and then the alternative is a blue. Hey Siri, what's the difference between a black and a blue run in skiing? Here's what I found. Siri basically told me that black slopes are for expert level skiers. Well, we're not doing black, are we? So if I wanted to go down one of those, I'd need to work my way up to it with the easier slopes first. I'd already mastered the green run, so next up was the blue run. Just shred in. That looks like I will die if I go off the edge. This is a step up. This is a step up. I think it was starting to get the hang of it. This is all snow. <laughs> this leg's stuck. And I was beginning to get cocky. I'm gonna go off piste. Yeah, dude. Wow, this is beautiful. I can't even imagine how nice it looks in real life. Ah! The view might have been nice, but unknown to me, I'd come to the steepest part of the blue run. Scott, how do I stop going backwards? Oh my God, that's so steep. This might not look like a lot on camera, but for someone who'd just been doing baby slopes, this was insanity. I am shitting myself. Alas, je me déplace. Alas, je me déplace. But it was at this point I remembered I was wearing the most high-tech headset money can buy. It does look like a video game. Surely this has got an app to help me. There is a butterfly flying around you right now. Oh my god, a portal to a new world has just opened on the ski slope. That is concerning. But little did I know, this little dinosaur wanted me dead. It feels like sand. Things started off well. I managed a couple of turns. This feels out of control. But as I hit the steepest part, I began to lose control. Snowplow, snowplow. Pizza's, pizza slice, pizza slice. Ah, there's a dinosaur. Pizza slice, pizza slice. No, Scott. Oh. My face aches, my eyes hurt. Unfortunately for me, things were about to go from bad to worse. Is this red? Yeah, you went down the red. Fuck. Because in the dinosaur's attempt to assassinate me, I'd skied past the turn to stay on the blue run and had made my way onto the red run. Right, chat GPT is coming to my help. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's like an oracle. Hello, chat GPT. How would you recommend a beginner skier navigates a red slope safely? Hello. Hello. Navigating a red slope as a beginner skier can be challenging. Yeah. One, take lessons before <laughs> attempting a red slope. It's important to take ski lessons from a qualified instructor. 
They will teach you the necessary techniques and skills to handle more challenging terrain. Gradually progress from green to blue slopes to gain confidence <laughs> and improve. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing through the pain. Although ChatGPT did eventually have some useful advice. Whoa. Keep your weight centered over your skis, bend your knees, and use your edges to control your turns. Use my edges. Don't lean too far back. Six. Take breaks when needed. Okay. That's solid advice. Take a break. Push yourself beyond your limits. If you feel tired or overwhelmed, take breaks as needed. I swear it said push yourself to your limits. I must do what this headset dictates. So with that, I was ready. A red slope and a complete beginner. What could go wrong? It's the final countdown. Get a turn in. Oh my God, I did it. My legs are like splitting right now. I was doing it. Using my edges with every turn. <laughs> Ah, putting my weight over the front of my skis. Get the roll with it. No, I was skiing. <laughs> Ow. With that okay. huge crash, all my confidence was gone. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm nice. I needed to get off this slope in a way I could control. Whoa, I'm skiing. I'm skiing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm skiing with these. <laughs> this is so much more control. Go. I think it's time for a cafe. Cafe. Cafe? Oui. Oui. Espresso? Um, cappuccino. Merci. At least my French was improving. Merci. Puis-je avoir le facteur? <laughs> yes. Anyway, I thought this was probably a good time to check back in with Simone. Hello. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why do you look like she that? She said I look like Daniel Radcliffe. I think that means she finds my persona attractive. This is my persona. <laughs> Let me just put you on the seat in front of me. I'm just having a coffee because I've had such a fantastic time and I'm so good. <laughs> okay. I told her to meet me at the top so we could finally do what we always dreamt of and ski together. Anyway, signing out from Zach Ramos, my French alter ego. Oh God, I probably look insane right now. <laughs> Truth be told, I was a little scared to ski after earlier, but this was my time to shine. So I went to the top early to get my head back in the game. Hi, this Hi. is Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Whoa, I remember my first crash as if it was just today. And then DJed for a bit. No way. <laughs> we got our books going. I then did some painting, too. which also wasn't that relaxing for other reasons. Too. Bless me. Oh my god, what is happening on the right there? Why is it drawing gerbils with military equipment? <laughs> Here you have my masterpiece, inspired by these mountains. Back to the ugly reality. And there was no avoiding this reality any longer. All of this had been leading up to one moment. The moment I get this holiday back on track by showing Simone I can ski. The Apple Vision Pro has brought me this far. But now it's time for me to take it to the next level. And meeting Simone at the top, I want to impress her, and there's only one way to do that. Hello. Hey! How's your day, babe? Yeah, it's going good. Fallen over a couple of times. Yeah. Going nice and slow. Steady winds the race. Right, so I'm thinking, one little run down to the bottom. Yeah. There's either a black or a blue. Not a black. There's no way I could do a black. Okay. I think I'm going to go for the black. I want to impress you. See you in the bottom. See you in the bottom. Monsieur. Oh no, that's a man. <laughs> Thank you. So as I crept up to the edge of the steepest slope in the resort, it does look a lot steeper than what I thought it might. I imagine the hero's welcome that would be waiting for me at the bottom. The story of how one man saved his holiday from near catastrophe by man and machine working in unison, learning the art of skiing and French. Do you actually want to do that? Not really. <laughs> but the Apple Vision Pro couldn't help me anymore. Hug? Oh, thank you. This was between me and the mountain. There goes nothing. Checking in. Uh -huh. Don't come up with the error messages now, please. Oh, it's fluffy. Am I shredding powder? I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. Slow and steady. I was doing it. I couldn't believe it. I think I'm doing it. And I was impressing Simone. Go on, lad. The plan was working. And now I was halfway down. My confidence was through the roof. I'm 
fit version. I'm gonna show you how to rip, boy. I'm scared to try and get some speed here. It's leveling out. Oh my god, the car's slowed down. Oh no. <laughs> it was all going so fantastic. Oh no, I'd crashed right in front of her and I'd blacked out. Not from banging my head, just this was the headset battery sliding down the mountain. I'm alive. Thank you. Oh, God, that was scary. With my plan seemingly in tatters, this put all the pressure on ordering dinner tonight. Fancy dinner? Yes! So, as we left the hotel, just two humans with 20 million pixels between us, I had this strange feeling that I hadn't even really been there today. And even though it was full of some things I'd want to remember... <laughs> I'm not sure I will. I watched it happen, but didn't experience it, you know? Anyway, I punched away those thoughts as we arrived at the fanciest restaurant in town. If this headset does one thing good, surely it can make dinner more romantic. It was time for Zachary Mons to shine. Alors, essayons en français, monsieur. Oui, 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 oui. Je vous écoute. puis je avoir le bouffe? Oui, monsieur. Et les, les jus? For Madame. Et pour Madame? Et les les jus. Root. <laughs> Vegetable. Les légumes à racines. Les racines. Les racines. Oui, Monsieur. Merci beaucoup. So two tender beef and one jus. <laughs> so, are you impressed? Ça, I'd rather you just take it off. Okay, madame. So, what have I learned from having a screen in between me and my girlfriend? <laughs>